Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. I am Rebecca Nichols. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to my wonderful world. This is my Royal Treats podcast show and it really is a pleasure to spend some time with you. It's been a while. I've been on a journey (laughs) and as I've been on this journey um, to healing myself, to becoming the highest version of myself, Well, I've I've needed to retreat a little bit, um, which kind of like really ties in nicely to the topic that I will really love to share with you today about vulnerability and actually how we own our stories and how we can be free from shame and free from guilt and just free, right? Just, Just free to be who we are in this world and to be brave with our stories as well like because sometimes I feel that we we shrink and play small and we're living in a past that's still haunting us but we need to give up those ghosts and it's something you'll you'll hear me talk about a lot over on the Instagram feed where I share with you and on the blog and of course here on the podcast show is that we're not free until we're really free within ourselves and that means yeah letting it all go (laughs) the resent the shame the guilt whatever it is the old stories the stories of struggle now you know I work with um humans all sorts of humans and I coach women but I you know I I heal men and women I work with men and women in 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 terms of um, healing and and in my healing sessions. And, you know, the first thing I will do when I will meet someone, have a consultation with them and sit with them, is to really find out what, where they've been. Where have you been? What have you been doing? What are the stories that you keep telling yourself about yourself and about your life? Because actually these were the stories that I was telling myself for many, many years. So part of my work, and it's kind of like the empath, the coach, the healer. (laughs) It's all tied into the intuitive, the psychic. It's tied into sort of like who I am really. That I have a real, a good way of discerning and picking up on people. Like I can tell if you're checked out and you're, you're somewhere else. I can tell if you're feeling a bit low and depressed I can tell if anxiety is riddling you I read people very very well which is a gift and that is a gift that I've had from a very young age and actually it wasn't something that I picked up on and actually nurtured as a gift until I was in my 30s and so I discovered Reiki or why they say Reiki discovers you (laughs) until I got on the path that I'm on now until I until I realized that actually I was playing small but you know, I think your I think your gift finds you will always find you in this life. I think you know. I think if we're seeking, we're all seeking and seeking you. And I think if we're seeking more, and we're asking, we're daring to ask questions about why am I here? What is my purpose in this life? Why am I on this planet? That and this is the thing: you're not just here to pay bills and die. None of us are, <laughs> you know. And so I kind of help people get out of that that mentality of um, well, limitation in even where we, we're limiting ourselves and our ability because well, we, we're comparing, we're going back in the past, we, we're listening to the stories of what we've been told by other people, parents, teachers, government, TV, social media, you name it, media, you know, everywhere. We, and we, we're not listening to ourselves and we're not really tuning in to our own desires, our own intentions. Um, Sometimes it it needs silence. You know, you need silence. So I think the first step is, is really owning who you are. Owning where you've been. Taking responsibility for your life because no one is coming to save you. And, you know, you'll hear this over and over again. (laughs) By many, by many, many people. No one is coming to save you, baby. 
And he didn't even know I could sing. No, but honestly, this was a massive wake-up call for me. Even even um, going through my healing journey, um, you know, being diagnosed with a chronic disease and then somebody saying, you, well, you know, this is how it is for you now. I'm kind of like, well, no, not really. I'm I'm that kind of person that goes against the grain always. Because I think, what would you give power to who has power over you? No matter what it is. So if it's a sickness, a disease, if it's your boss, if it's your mum, whatever it is that's been created in this life. Because um, we're all creation, we're all creations and we're all here to create, right? But then what? What are, where are you giving your power away, basically? And where are you limiting yourself, believing in the fact that you don't have it? You're thinking you don't have the power to change your life. You know, this is the conversations that come up all the time because people, I don't understand actually. Well, I do have power. I, 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 do I have power? Is that what I have? And, you know, I get people to think outside the box. Not get rid of the fucking box. It doesn't exist. Come out of the box. <laughs> no box. And let's start thinking about what your ideal life looks like, right? Yeah, so simple. But yet people can't can't get there. Well, yeah, if I was gonna if I was dreaming, Rebecca, if I was really dreaming about where I wanted to be and what I wanted to have, <laughs> then it would look like XYZ. And I said, Cool, let's go there. And actually then they'll go, Oh no, that's not that's not possible though. Why isn't it possible? Right? And that's the first thing. We need to get out the idea that it's not possible for us. Yeah. You gotta lose the shame. Look, the first thing I did was lose the shame. And that was part of my recovery, becoming whole again. I had to lose the shame that I'd messed up and I failed. Not only in my relationships, but in my finances, in the relationship I had with my mum, in the relationship I had with my son. All this shame I had within me that was literally destroying me on the inside and weakening my immune system, um, which led to my disease. And... If I hadn't of recognised that I'd created it, I would have gone on through my life going blaming and resentful and, and, sh- and blaming and pointing fingers and just saying, well, 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 you know, you know, this is it. This is how my life is now. And how many of you say that to yourself? This is it. This is, this is it. It can't get any better. You know, I, I mean, I've shared with you stories of me going into houses and walking into the sort of... The, the, the Beckham's houses and some of the houses that I've worked in over the years and seen these grand houses and go, oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. And, and actually not even believing it would ever be possible for me. And then becoming a millionaire <laughs> overnight. And thinking, wow. And I still don't have my dream, dream house. And I don't have the, the life that I want to have. I know I have an amazing life. I'm still working towards all the things that I would love to have. But, yet yeah, again, we complain and we, we, we moan about what we don't have. And then we're not really focused on about, I, number one, who, who are we? What gifts do we have? And to look around you and really find gratitude. And I've got some women on the, the gratitude program that I run, the Manifesting 28-Day program. And um, we're nearly finishing up now. Um, I will probably be running another program, probably not until after I've had my daughter who is coming end of July. It's a very exciting time for me. Um, thank you guys for your love and support. It's really good to to just have you um, supporting me on my life journey and as I'm here to support and encourage you to be the best versions of yourself. I really feel that love. I really appreciate you. I just want to let you know that. Um, you know... I manifested a baby. <laughs> you know, I talk about manifesting and I actually look back through some of the intentions that I wrote last year around the baby and with the, even the name and everything. Like, you know, <laughs> I just kind of knew I was having a girl and I wrote it down. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the great news. I'm expecting a baby girl. You know, you've got to believe that things are possible for you and you can manifest things in your life. Um... It does take a, a certain mindset, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the work I do around coaching is based on mindset. It's 80% mindset and the rest is just... Excuse me. Sorry, pregnancy does make me hiccup a little bit. Excuse me. Ah, yes. 
I think I'm talking and like <laughs> air's getting in or something. Yeah, so a lot of the work that I based on and and even in my coaching programs and um by the way the reset is out now, which is a seven day chakra balancing sort of coaching program with some videos and some content and um yeah some 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 great info in there for those who are interested in getting aligned and divine <laughs> it's the reset it's really simple I wanted to bring out a program that would really help you um understand Reiki and the chakras in a simple way that you could apply to your life like straight away some really easy activities for you to do some practices some meditations it's just it's just simple And that's the thing. I think life can be very simple for us, but I think we also really overcomplicate things. And we're stuck because we're stuck in the past. We're not moving forward into a space of powerful creators. Don't be a victim. Let's give up the shame. Okay, let's give up the shame. So, you know, just something that you can do, which I think will be really powerful for you guys to practice is... Do an invocation, write, write journal because it's very powerful. This is something that I would encourage everyone to do and get into a habit of doing. Writing gratitude lists, journaling, whatever. You know, spend time with yourself and reflection. And that's necessary in, in terms of success more than the actual doing. You know, being who you are is more important than the doing. The doing we're going to do some stuff, like I'm here today doing this podcast after I don't know how many weeks of me procrastinating a little bit, and I wasn't, it wasn't like I had serious apathy, it was just a lot of other things that have been getting in my way, and of course creating the program, which um, I wanted to get done, because I'm going on maternity leave um, beginning of July, so yeah, let's do a few more things to tie up before I am. Um, I take some time out to spend with my precious little one, who's going to be coming, actually, she's due on a full moon, yeah, it'd be interesting (laughs) if she actually turns up, but another Leo, as my son is Leo, Um, and yeah, two fiery ones, and I'm a Libra, so I kind of air sign, so kind of cool them down and blow them out (laughs) in so many ways, so yeah, look, there's no shame in, in your game, there is no shame in being who you are there is there is no shame in um your past there is no shame in your mistakes there is no shame in your failures there is no shame in your disease if you're diseased if you're sick if you've if something wrong with your body inside outside if you have a physical ailment you know uh the chronic diseases that you know no one can see (laughs) you know i get it um no shame no shame let's just release that shame today and let's just imagine that there is no suffering in the now that you are perfectly made and you're perfect the way you are and that you are just completely enough and something i've always been sharing with you in on the podcast before um and saying you know you are enough your your life is enough and and believe in yourself and i guess what we're really going into as we're evolving as beings consciousness is rising is we're getting to realize that the cut the comparing of ourselves to other beings is really just shitty and just not necessary and we need to really love ourselves and self-acceptance is a big part of healing it doesn't matter what you have I have some of you contact me who have been recently diagnosed with different things and I just want you know, to know that actually self-acceptance and self-love is the first step and gratitude I think is the first step into to healing you know and also really encouraging who's going to come and sit around the table with you when you come to heal because there was people that didn't understand my journey in the beginning as to why I wanted to, to heal my body in the way that I wanted to heal it without taking drugs or engaging in a relationship with drugs because sometimes you start on that relationship with the drugs and it never ends and that's just my perspective and that's the perspective that I've working with a lot of people um with chronic illness or or you know any other disease or you know cancers or whatever you know the minute you start engaging in a relationship with it 
and we bring fear into it we we can potentially block um the healing process and so i was really careful about who i chose to allow to share that story with as well i should share the story with a lot of people obviously even you guys you know but you know in terms of like who's closely i could i could confide in about that because i didn't want to bring worry or fear into that space because again you know it's an energy and you're never going to get healed if you're going to have faith uh, uh, fear but faith can do amazing things and it's always about the possibility and I'm always encouraging people to see the possibility for their life rather than um, limit themselves or or buy into other people's realities. <laughs> Which, are, you know, again, reality is an illusion, you know. We're all out here creating our own reality. So, you know, go there, go there, go go big, go dream. Don't, don't, don't play small, yeah. You're not here to play small. None of us are here to play small. Don't let anything get in the way and limit you. So, well, that, that, that it's a very short podcast for today, but nonetheless, I hope you've got some, some royal treats, as I call it, you know, a little royal treat for you, and I've got some, you know, pearls of wisdom, my pearls of wisdom, of course, I want to give you those, um, you know, I've learned a lot over the years, but I'm not perfect, and I, I will continue to grow and learn as a being, as we all are. But we learn because we we, we dare to get back up and be brave, you know, and carry on rather than saying, this is it. This is the end of the road for me. We push through and we say, no, 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 no. You remember, this is your life. This is your life. Anyway, um, you have a beautiful day, evening, wherever you may be in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. You can always like connect with me on the Instagram. It's queenofmylife.london. Drop me a DM, say hey. Let me know how you're enjoying the shows. Obviously, um, if you're listening to this on iTunes, you can write a review. It'll, it'll be really nice to see how things are working i know some of you um listen to this on youtube as well so thank you for the comments i'm a bit rubbish (laughs) trying to get back to people someday you know i've got a pregnant brain at the moment as well (laughs) so that's my excuse um but yeah thank you so much for all the love and support and um you know share the love of course if you're enjoying this podcast and you know that there's someone out there who really needs to hear a message um then sharing is caring it's one way i got into doing what i do is because you know people shared instagram i found some great accounts on instagram i found out about reiki i started following some accounts i thought you know what i'm into this this is at first a bit skeptical about a lot of stuff around law of attraction and metaphysics but you know obviously my my life and what i've been able to manifest and things that have happened have proved that you know things can happen in a, in a really a big way when you start to change your mindset and start believing in the magic so Thank you. Keep sharing, keep loving, keep being kind and stay aligned and divine. Take care.